of debated whether or not I wanted to discuss this topic on uh, today's one of today's videos. I'm, as you all know, we are moving the channel in a new direction. The changes have been subtle and not so subtle. And one of the things that I kind of not consider to be that important to discuss anymore is executives leaving Uber. Because here's the thing. Executives leave companies all the time. Heck, most executives aren't even that important to the company in terms of the public face. If the CEO leaves, that's a big deal. If the um, CFO leaves, it's a big deal, but nobody really cares. However, this isn't just some executive. This is Rachel Holt. Rachel Holt leaving Uber. Rachel Holt was one of the first employees Uber had, and she was probably the most powerful woman at Uber. In fact, when Uber was doing their little Goodwill um, interviews with Uberman and the Simple Driver, uh, Uberman, a.k.a. Randy Shear, a.k.a. Auto Auctions Rebuilds, interviewed Aaron Schilkraut. And the Simple Driver interviewed Rachel Holt. So she was a big deal at Uber and has been all this time, and she has decided she is stepping away. So I decided, you know what, someone who is that important to this company that I have dedicated a good few years discussing probably deserves a proper send-off and a discussion what this actually means for the future of the company. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you happen to like this video, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. We upload new videos on a daily basis. You will want to be notified of those videos as well as premieres, live streams, all that jazz. So anyway, Bloomberg's headline says it right th there. I have my virus software update is just not with Norton. I don't know why it's asking me all the time. One of Uber's most powerful women leaves Uber to start a VC fund. Rachel Holt, one of the first employees at Uber Technologies Inc., who rose to become one of the most powerful women at the company, is leaving to start a venture capital firm. Holt is teaming up with Dana Grayson, a venture capitalist from New Enterprise Associates to create the new firm Construct Capital. Both women announced the moves on Twitter, but didn't offer details such as the target fund size. Neither responded for requests to comment. The new firm increases the representation of women in venture capital, an industry dominated by men who bankroll startups mostly led by men. Just 12% of the startup investment firms in the U.S. have women in decision-making roles with the power to write checks, according to a report by industry research firm PitchBook and advocacy group, group All Rise. Female venture partners are twice as likely to invest in startups with at least one female founder and more than three times as likely to back startups with female chief executive officers, the report noted. Now, I have to get at least one little bit of shade thrown in here. One little bit of sh shade of, little thrown of shade. Uh, Holt presided over Uber, one of the most notoriously unprofitable companies in the world who had one of the most notorious disappointing IPOs in history. Now, I know a lot of that is Dara Khosra Shahi's fault. I mean, CEO and Travis Kalanick, all that jazz. But she presided over a lot of this. So that's not exactly something that breeds confidence when saying she's got a keen eye for smart investments. That said, I think this is a great idea. I mean, as noted, 12% um, of startup investment firms in the U.S. have women in decision-making roles with power to write checks. It's not much. And there are probably a lot of great ideas that do not get picked up on because, you know, the whole man's world thing and it's hard for a woman to get her foot in the door. So by opening this firm, that might increase it to, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20%. Who knows? So that would um, help a lot for people with those ideas. And, of course, Holt can invest her money and watch it grow there's a lot of positives to this. Um, now, it does mention Holt joined Uber in 2011 and later managed the North American ride-hailing business. Again, the company never made money, so I'm not sure if this is something you want on your resume, but whatever. Most recently, she led development of new mobility projects such as electric bicycle and scooter rentals. Her departure to start a VC firm was reported earlier Tuesday by news site Axios. And um, Dara um, called Holt's departure bitter sweet um and we'll be replacing her with dennis sinelli which is stupid dara stupid i mean i don't know dennis personally he might be good i don't know but yeah you know there's going to be people running the headlines that you know female executive leaves uber and the toxic male company 
um, replaces it with another man. I mean, you know those articles are coming. I'm not going to make that video, but you know it's coming. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing for Uber? Well, here's the thing. Um, obviously, the company's bigger than her. Uh, and the company's not doing well anyway, so it's hard to say whether the company will be just fine without her because it's not doing great. It's just not. I mean, if it gets better after she leaves, that I don't know what that says about her. It might say nothing at all. Um, again, it's a bad look in the sense that, you know, top executive at Uber who's a woman, and this company has been accused of having a very toxic culture towards women, is leaving, and Uber's replacing her with a man. That probably looks the worst. It also is inconvenient timing, I will admit, because with Travis Kalanick having just left and now she's leaving, I don't know if there's any founding members of Uber still there. I, I don't know if there are. And I don't know how investors are going to read that. I don't. Because the investors might say that this is yet one more sign that Uber is a sinking ship and get out, or maybe they think, hey, good. I mean, the old re regime, regime wasn't working. Get a new regime in, see if that, that works out. So... Who knows? All I will say is that Uber is actually focused on driving towards profit. In fact, I'm picking up this article just to show this one sentence. It's frustrating to see one company get so much right and get so much wrong all at the same time. Anyway, we're not going to read this. I, I thought that was so true. But we're not going to read this whole um, article. But it says changes in the air. Um, and, you know, he wants to prove to investors that the company can turn a profit. Who knows? Maybe um, Rachel was even forced out to a certain extent. I'm not going to say she was for certain because I just don't know. But Uber wants to focus on getting profitable. I mean, they have to. They, Wall Street will not have the patience for them to keep this up another year. And who knows? Um, maybe she was collateral. Maybe she was always planning to leave. I, I think it's going to work out good for her. I think she'll be fine. Uber probably won't be. Um, I think it'll speak volumes if she sells her Uber stock. Like, if she sells her stake in the company, like, completely, like Travis did, and she gets completely out of it, then maybe something's up at that point. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there because, you know, we just want to report the facts. We don't want to actually, um, I, I mean, I, I just don't even know. I mean, t t truth be told, there's probably nothing behind this one. She probably just wants to be her own boss, and good for her that she's in a position she can do that. But hey, we're going to leave it there. What do you folks think about this? I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.